This is Serenity Leisure's video for this 2016 Swift 645 Elegance that has just arrived with us in Park Exchange. Uh, the caravan is May, June, uh, March, April, May, June. The caravan is just three months old, uh, and of course, is a one-owner caravan from new. Um, and the previous owners basically changed it with us for a uh, another 2016 caravan we had, just with a slightly different layout. So the video has been made in conjunction with the um, uh, photographs and editorial you may have already seen and just is designed to give you some up close footage and a little bit more uh, editorial about the caravan itself. So as you'd want it to be for a 2016 three month old caravan, it is completely unmarked um, and it has got some very nice spec on it as well as the standard specification. Uh, the, which I should go into detail about further in a moment or two, uh, down the non-entry side, as I said, condition is completely spotless. The back end, just from that angle, again, completely unmarked. It has the full receivers for the bike rack, if you want to put a bicycle rack on them. The very latest Swifts come with that facility, or Serenity, we can fit one for you if you want. Uh, Tetford cassette toilet. She's down the end there. Uh, it also has, as well as these very new snazzy alloy wheels, a four-wheel drive motor mover. Hopefully you can see that from there. Yeah, four-wheel drive motor mover, which is a nice feature to have. Aerial. Front end again, completely spotless, all external lights, LEDs now, runs on the Alco chassis with the ATC control unit down there, 13 pin electrics of course. Inside the gas locker there is, uh, there is a service pitch connection, there is a gas bottle, uh, there are the, uh, the two Alco wheel locks, they're all with the caravan of course. And down the entry side again, regarding condition, it's absolutely spotless. A beautiful caravan these uh, elegances and this one would have cost with the extras that's on it uh, in excess of thirty thousand pounds well actually a bit more than that because it's got as well as having a four-wheel drive motor, mo motor mover on it which is two thousand uh, it also has habitation air conditioning which is about the same price the weights are uh, unladen 1700 and laden 1900 kilograms right to the interior okay so first things first uh, front lounge obviously this goes into a double bed if you so desire uh, it has half leather half Alcantara uh, upholstery which as you'd expect is impeccable the color choices are lovely very neutral um, in the front here are two um, two 13 ounce sockets 12 volt socket, USB, and obviously all the extra light switches, etc. And then we'll go at the top here, and this will give you an aerial shot of our interior and the way it's laid out. This is extra shelving, which comes up obviously just to give you more worktop space. External shower, still in its plastics. Lots and lots of work, um, um, uh, storage space. Obviously it's microwave. Um, this is the habitation air conditioning. Let's see if we can get that on there. There we go. It's got a tail air system in it, which is remote control. Uh, again, that's an expensive option on this caravan. Control panel, carbon monoxide, gas alarm, um, Higher security level hardtail door, bar, Aldi central heating, remote for the mover. That's not a remote for the mover, that's the remote for the air conditioning. It's very hot in here today. There's the remote for the mover, down there. And then the pièce de la résistance with the 645 is the island fixed island transverse bed. Uh, in the photographs, you'll notice that that sheet, uh, this is part of the bed set that comes with the caravan. 
and uh, that sheet was fitted and I took it off not realising I had the midi video to make so I couldn't be bothered to put it back on but we always take them off irrespective of the age of the caravan just to wash them all uh, not that there's anything wrong with it so I've just sort of put it back on just to show you uh, that'll be washed and fitted back on and these, uh, the transverse bed itself of course pulls out those little sort of clever tricks if it's too short uh, for you then the, the bed itself sort of pulls out and uh, that backrest drops down and it makes the bed comfortable for six foot one, six foot two tall person. There we go. There's your sliding door into the bathroom, which is where we are now. Separate shower. integrated sink, towel radiator, again Tepford C250 toilet, more storage, more LED lighting and as I said this door moves across and will give you the privacy. Uh, concertina blinds all the way around the caravan. As I said this is Swift's flagship caravan so you can expect a very high element of luxury um, with some very nice specification. And needless to say, internal condition is as new, without question. Okay, that completes uh, Serenity Leisure's video for this 2016 Swift Elegance 645.